The Federal Court on Tuesday dismissed University Malaya lecturer Azmi Sha'arum's application, which sought to declare the Sedition Act to be unconstitutional. Now, Azmi will have to be remitted to the Sessions Court to face his charges for making seditious comments on September the 2nd last year in an article titled Take Perak Crisis Route for Speedy End to Selangor Impasse, Pakatan Toll, in an English portal. There were two questions that were put forward uh, for this court to determine. Uh, the first question was whether or not uh, Article 10 uh, is consistent with Article 4 of the Constitution. And the second question was, of course, the more general question, which is whether or not uh, the Sedition Act is constitutional. Uh, the court decided uh, to look at the second question first. Uh, and in this, the uh, held that uh, the Sedition Act being pre merdeka law uh, has to be looked at differently from post merdeka law. So I think we will have to go back to the Sessions Court and go to trial. Uh, it's unfortunate, of course, uh, they, did not agree, but they did not agree with us, uh, but then again, uh, that is their decision. Uh, let us get the full text of the judgment, study it, and then uh, of course we will decide what to do that from later. Azmi says his lawyer had made a good argument, but still the court did not accept it. My concern is that the purpose of having uh, Article 10, the purpose for stating that only Parliament can make laws to restrict our freedom of expression is to ensure that only a democratic process uh, will uh, result in the restriction of our freedoms. Um, that seems to be overlooked. Um, uh, this literalist interpretation of the Constitution does very little uh, to protect us uh, from. Uh, Laws which are too restrictive. So, of course, I'm very, very disappointed. But, uh, not for me personally, but um, for all of us in this country. Uh, with regards to what we're going to do now, I'm not quite sure what my lawyers are going to do, but the most obvious thing is that I'll have to go to the session squad and my trial will have to start. And I hope that uh, the merits of the case uh, will show that I have done nothing wrong. Azmi says he hopes that the federal court's decision will not affect commentary in Malaysia. He says people must not allow the so-called bad laws to frighten them and they should continue to express their opinions. The group of students and supporters were at the Palace of Justice to show their support for Azmi. So today is a dark, a dark day for human rights. We have actually moved backwards. We thought that today's uh, Dr. Azmi Shaong's case will be a significant case forward for human rights. But today, sadly, we are wrong. And it shows one thing, what Marx says is always true. Law is a tool used by the ruling class to oppress the lower class. The courts today have played the role of a rubber stamp, applying to what the executive's intention, just as what it is. It, it feels to be a beacon of defense for human rights. And we are very sad for that. On November the 5th last year, the Kuala Lumpur High Court invoked its power to refer Azmi's sedition case to the federal court for determination as it raised questions of constitutionality.